27 bridges owned by Allegheny County are in poor condition and 26 of them remain open to traffic while awaiting repairs. Meantime, the Roberto Clemente Bridge, which is rated in fair condition, is set to close soon for a major rehabilitation. Jessica Gway is live with the impact of that closure on the city. Jessica. Ken, this project was planned long before the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse put bridge safety on people's minds. So the Roberto Clemente Bridge is deteriorating and people who were using it today said that they're glad it's getting fixed. Because of the recent collapse, you know, a lot of the bridges need it. It does. It does. You see the rust on here. The Roberto Clemente Bridge is getting a $34.4 million facelift. It will close to vehicle, bicycle, and pedestrian traffic on February 14th and is expected to reopen in December 2023. If it's a safety thing, that's fine. I just, that's, this is like, it's like shutting down the Empire State Building for two years. The iconic structure, loved by residents and visitors, carries nearly 8,000 vehicles daily across the Allegheny River. Many use it to get to the North Shore and PNC Park. I travel a lot. This is one of the reasons I come out to this city. I, I just like walking by the stadiums, walking over the bridge. The self-anchored suspension bridge was last inspected in 2021. It was rated five and is in fair condition. The Allegheny County Public Works director says a lot of repairs need to be made. If you go across the bridge, you'll see the deterioration along the curb lines. Uh, the paint is breaking down. So we're going to sandblast it and uh, replace the structural members or any steel that's deteriorated. Uh, the deck has been uh, some issues and we've been repairing it along the way here. So we're going to replace, replace the entire deck. A classic backdrop to wedding photos and couples symbolize their love by putting a lock on the handrails. Now 11,000 love locks will have to be removed. It's the last of the three sister bridges to be rehabbed. It may cause some headaches, but these Pittsburghers think it'll be worth it. For me as a photographer, it is going to be a wonderful thing. It is, it's going to brighten up the city, it's going to brighten up the yellows. I walk across the bridge because I take the bus over this way from Bloomfield, and I think if the <laughs> bridge needs work, then that sounds great. I'd rather it be repaired than, uh, than uh, be using it. If you put a lock on the bridge and you want it back, I hope you have the key. You're encouraged to come get your lock before construction starts at 6 a.m. on the 14th. And any that are left behind will actually be cut off and then donated to the Industrial Arts Workshop of Hazelwood. Live on the North Shore, Jessica Gway, KDK News. Okay.